we're going to be creating a Google script that's going to run through the current active doc and select the images that we have within the doc. You can add also more images into it. So just do a quick search for the web and add in an image into our doc. So it's coming from the web. And now I'm going to run through the script, the creator script, and that's going to create an image for each one of the images that I have within the doc. And this is in a particular folder that I have on the drive. So there's the five images that I have on the doc. Do a quick preview of it. So there's that image that I just added. There's the previous images that I had within the doc. So it created actual images on my drive coming from the images that I had within the Google Doc. And this is the function that we're going to be covering in this lesson. You can also update and change the folder by its ID and then also give them different names where right now I'm just setting them by their index value, but you can also customize the names for the images as you're saving them. Go over to your Google Drive, create a folder that you can use and then get the ID of the folder. Select the Google document that you have the images in and we're going to be adding an um, item to the menu. So let's open up the editor and this can be done by doing tools, script editor. Start by creating a function and this function is going to run the UI menu. So that will allow us to have a button that can be clicked that will extract out all of the images from the document whenever the button gets clicked. So using the document app then get the UI object and within the UI object create a menu and then give the menu a caption name. So just call it images. I'll move it to the next line so it's a little bit easier to read and then add an item and within the item I'm going to call it creator and it's going to run the function get images. So it's going to get all of the images from the page and then we just need to add the item to the UI menu and save that and we can run the on open function so that will add that new menu to the page so we've got the creator menu there so now we can run a function called get images or we need to create a function called get images so function create that function and within the function we want to get the whatever the current active document object is so that's using the document app get active document and then we want to get the body of the document so that we can loop through it and get all of the images from the body so using the doc and then the get body method that's going to return back the body object of the document uh, you can also just make sure within the logger that you are getting the body object properly so you can output it into the log as we're developing this and using the get images so now we've got the document body section. So that's all of the body contents. And we can use the body contents and get the images from there. So let's select and create a new variable within the body object and then use the method get images. So it's going to return back all of the images that are currently within the document. And you can output that as well into the logger. So run the code and that gives us three images. So in fact, we do have three images. So they've been brought into the document and we want to make a copy of these images and store them onto the drive. So once we've got the image object, we want to then navigate and create a main folder container. So this is going to be the folder where the images are going to be going into. So we want to get folder by ID. And here we need to have an ID value for the folder. So let's create that. And going back over to the folder that we just created or that we want to use to store the images in, in the web URL, you can select its ID in the top there within the URL menu. So that's going to be the ID of the folder. And we're going to be dropping the images into that folder. I'm going to comment out the log. So now that we've got an images object, we can iterate them. So using for each we can loop through and we can get each individual image object that is contained within the page. And now what we want to do is we want to get that image as a blob. Once it's within a blob format, then we can make use of it. So select the image object and then use the get blob method 
that's going to return the object back as a blob. And in order to make a copy of it, we have a copy blob method, and that will create a copy of that current blob. So we don't want to use the current one there, we would just want to make a copy of it. We can also set a name to that. I'm actually going to set them as using the index value. So get the index value as we're iterating through, and this will give us an option that we can set a name for it. You can do this on a separate line, so selecting the blob and then set name so that your statement doesn't get too long there. And for the image name, I'm going to use the index value. And so this is expecting a string value. And here we can use the index plus one. And that's coming from the for each loop. And maybe just give it a name of image. And then let's add to this image, we're going to add an extension. So let's save them all as JPEG images. And we can also set the content type from the extension. So if it does have an extension, then we can set the content type from there. So once we've created it as a blob, then we select the folder and we just need to create the file. And the source for creating the file is going to be the blob. So now when we go back into the document, we've got a bunch of images in there. We can select Images Creator and accepting the permissions in order to use the Drive app, that's going to give us the three images on the page. So these are images that are sitting within the doc. So let's go ahead and insert a new image. Looking up, uh, we can search the web for the image. So look up what we've got for App Script. There's a logo for the app script. Let's add that, insert the image in. So there's the app script image. And now let's try to run the creator. Clear out the images that we already had. And now it's added in all four images. So we can loop through and see that we've got a copy of the image that I just added into the Google Doc. And that's coming from the web. So whatever images you have in the doc, uh, this is a quick and easy way to generate images on your drive from your Google Doc.